best free logo design software is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True Tool Tucker channel, welcome to the channel. I really would appreciate if you could go down below and subscribe right now and then go and leave a like. Uh, this video took me a while to make and it's a really, really good software. Now once I reveal the software, don't just click off because I'm showing you how to use the software. Some of the tools can be confusing with this, so I do recommend watching the whole video and I hope you do find it useful and you can make yourself a really good logo. And if you want to see more content like this, I'll be making, you know, how to make more specific banners and profile pictures like YouTube stuff but this is more of a general one today so yeah I hope you enjoy it and let's jump into this video okay so here we are on my computer before we get any further do not click off once I reveal the website because I'm showing you how to go and use this software to create yourself an awesome logo so make sure you do keep watching now the site I'm showing you is called canva.com so all I've done is come here I made a quick account just to bypass that process obviously that is more the easiest part now as you can see here we're currently on the screen start your first design so this is where we can go and make our logo because obviously this is the part of this I'm sure in the future I'll be showing you this software how to go and make other types of logos now there is a paid version as well I'm showing you the free version and yeah that's pretty much the the topic but we're gonna go start our first design so to do this all we're gonna do is come get logo here as you can see, by doing this, we get 1500 by 1500 pixels, which is pretty standard. Anyway, let's go and click on it, and it's going to take us here. So as you can see, brand new design, we are here. But now the best part is of the amazing templates. Like, look at all, all of these. We've got gaming logos, which are free. We've got badge logos, art designs, fashion logos, brand logos, computer logos, literally unlimited. So, you know, no matter what niche your channel or your business is in you've got something for every person here so what I think I'm gonna do is to sort of test a few out just to show you so this game one does look pretty cool so I'm gonna come and click on it here and as you can see this is literally it like it gives you the whole template and um, we can go and change it loads of different elements you obviously could go and change the badge um, you can go and click here you duplicate it you can go and crop it you can flip it you could flip it horizontally uh, I'll put it back but yeah this is pretty cool to me so just to do basic stuff like editing the text just come and click on the text box here and then all you got to do is double click on it and you can start typing so i could change that to say like tutorial tucker just like so um, and that looks pretty cool see that's not my logo and i'm not pro league so i could then do like um tutorials on youtube something like that you know you can literally do so much with it change color you click simply click on this box here this is how it's designed they've done it like vertically um so i'll try and highlight this other bit but come and click on there then just click up here and you can go and change it to anything so you can do black we could do orange you can literally do anything so i'll put it back to this sort of purple color it's around there so yeah that's like the main idea for this logo it's pretty easy to use and you can drag this around so i can remove it by clicking delete and then i could just have this so that actually looks kind of clean um, obviously you, put, you can use those badges that's why they're there right but personally I wouldn't it doesn't really match my brand um, but obviously this all depends on brand as well now you can go and zoom out if you wanted to go and preview it at a different size maybe like 100% or you can go look at it at 10% obviously when you're actually uploading it say YouTube you see a tiny version of it you don't see it at this size so you've got to consider that now that is just one logo you can go and make you know there are so many aspects you can change to it you can change the background um, obviously that's this is how this logo is designed um, they had this just an overlay this one and this is how you change this right hand side of it so you know it's pretty easy to use um, but yeah that is the gaming logo I guess so we can come back to templates and you've got all of these other awesome templates you can choose from but you can obviously go and get a blank one so to do that you just go and click add new page and you can literally have pages of different logos so but yeah I'm going to come back down here and just to two seven five percent so we can scratch actually that's too big we'll just go to fit yeah that's perfect so we can scroll down that's one logo here is our second and i'm going to go and edit this up so i'm going to do this one from scratch just to show you that obviously we've got the template so the tutorial now we've got our sort of making the whole thing from scratch so we've got our background you can come and change it by coming here and you can change it to say something like this or you can go and change it to anything so for me i think i'm going to go for a whole color um so maybe something like I guess my channel is more like a blue theme, so I'm going to have that. But like the other one, I'm going to have that sort of theme of having it half across. Um, so we're going to test that out and show you how to do it. So to do that, I'm going to come and click on elements. And you've got all these shapes, so I'm just going to click there. And now we get this, which is pretty useful. So for this, I'm going to see what looks best. But I think I might do like half, half type thing. So we could have something like that. And then if we zoom out a bit, if we go, say, 10%, I guess is better. That looks pretty cool. It's a bit, I want to make it fully half. There we go. And then we can come back here and go fit again so we can get it perfectly lined up so as you can see that's sort of the effect of having the split of the colors 
which I'm pretty happy with so far. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go, and obviously you can add photos here, it gives you a few stock, but you can also upload images. So I could go and upload my logo, for example, you just click here, and it's going to load all your files up, and you can simply upload them. So if, if you have like a badge you wanted to add or a sticker, you could go and do that. So I'm going to go and click this text tool, and now we've got all of these awesome text templates as well. So this is really awesome, and there are so many free ones as well. Like I said before, this is a paid software as well, but they offer a lot for free, which is impressive actually. A lot of these softwares sort of like block you from downloading, but we're showing you how to save the file and open it up, etc. It's so, so easy. So I think this looks kind of cool. I do like the font on this. Now, obviously, you know, your brand isn't cold, smooth and tasty, right? But you can easily change it. So I've clicked on there and it simply drags it in for you. I'm going to increase the size uh, just like so. Now, I want this to be pretty much dead on middle. So you can use these awesome guidelines as well. So double click on them like before. And you get this so what this font is called for is doing like the lower case effect so i could do something like um tutorial tucker and i think i'll probably change this to uh, a lighter color just because it's quite a dark background already so it wouldn't look as good so then we're going to go and change the color so i'm going to highlight all this like so and come up here and then we can go and do a white just like so and i missed out the t uh we can come up here so obviously you can do any color as well um but i'm going to go white or you, or yeah, obviously you can change it, and then I might add some more effects to this as well. So, and if you want to quickly capitalize something, you can simply click on this tool here and capitalize it all, which is pretty easy. So yeah, that's the sort of start of it. Now, I'm not too keen on how this is looking at the minute. I think I might line this up. I'm going to remove this bit down here as well because obviously it's just not necessary. Uh, delete that, and then esque. Now perfect, so we're sort of making progress now. Now obviously this is all personal preference and this is just like a quick design. I'm trying to show you different tools you can use um, to sort of get a rough idea of you know what you can do with this software. So that's sort of how it looked from a distance, which is okay. I think I'm gonna change this though. I'm not a fan of that sort of flat angle. So I'm gonna go back to fit and grab this and I'm simply gonna move it here and then I'm going to rotate it. So to do that, what we want to do is click on this tool here and you can start spinning it around. So to do this, I think I'm going to line it up with the corners just like so, and I'll have to stretch it out a bit. This is probably where I want to zoom out a bit more, which I may do, but I think I may have got it now. I'm just going to drag the text down here so just can move it around a bit more. Like I said, it's so easy to use. It's just you click and drag, obviously all online as well. We can drag it back. Now that is looking really good, actually. That looks so, so, so much better. Uh, I really underestimate how that would look, actually. I think that's way better having a split design. And obviously, I showed you how to do that there. You could do that within the template, but it's just easier to be able to know how to do it yourself, in my opinion. So now we've got this here. I'm just going to try and make sure this is fully lined up with the sort of the, the margins like that. And then I'll try and get it um, in the middle as well. So I think to do that, I'll have to be over here. But sometimes it won't always line up perfectly. You sort of just got to do it how you'd like to. And if you ever just want to preview it without all these lines, just click on the white area and you can go and look at it. So that we're making progress now. I think I'm going to add a bit more stuff to it. Like I said before, to change this side of it, because that is the actual background. This is just an overlay. You come to the background and you can select all these different themes here. For me personally, solid color looks best. But like I said before, all personal preference. Now we can also add other elements. So this is pretty cool. You can add frames. For this other thing, I don't think it's needed, but obviously you can pretty easily. And there's so many other shapes. Like maybe there's another shape I might use. So the star would be quite cool. We can try and see what we can do with that. Um, now this will come as blue because that's our current background color. So you can't actually really see it if it's over here. So I'm going to quickly change this up to maybe like a gold color because this star would usually be gold. And you can change the transparency of it as well by clicking here. And you can change transparency if you wanted to over. That doesn't look very good, but there are some like effects which will look really good. There's one thing I want to show you. And then to go and save it, all you got to do is click download. Now here, it's going to kind of look like sometimes you're trying to, to get you up to upgrade. But if you follow this very carefully, I'll show you how to avoid that. So as you can see here, you click on download and you'll have this list here. So you can change the file type. PNG is the best. Um, or you can do a JPEG depending if something specific for only for JPEG, you know what I mean? So then you've got here, you can't change this, but I only want the second one. So I'm going to just do page two. I will do two just for the example, but you can unselect which one if you didn't say want the first one here. I'll do both. And then just click done, then click download. Now it's got this, you can see preparing your design, it literally takes a couple seconds. Now, as you can see here, you can get the pro for free for 30 days, which is pretty good, but also gives you a zip file here. So I'm gonna click open, 
and then it's going to show you here. So if you can't open this, you need to get a software called WinRAR, but there are other alternatives to unzipping stuff. Often you can go and right click on it and click extract. Um, so you can do stuff like that, but I've got my two files here. So then the second, you can we can open them both actually. So I'll double click on this. As you can see, we've got our first one here, and the quality is insane. Like some of these um, sort of free versions, they only have a certain quality, but this is crisp quality and it works absolutely fine. We've got number one here as well, which I first originally did, and there are our two designs. So I'm pretty happy with that. If you have found this video useful, subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it, and go and leave a comment and leave a like. I look forward to catching you in the next one for more insane tutorials. Peace out.